Half time in our Cardinal feature, Meet the Cardinals. We thought it might be kind of fun to uh, talk with the coaches this weekend during the Desert Classic and joining us a face that Cardinal fans will remember a couple years ago, Michael Hale III, assistant coach with the NIC Cardinals, his first year as a coach. How are you doing, my man? Pretty good. Can't complain. All right, fantastic. Let's talk a little bit about you. Everybody pretty much knows your story from Federal Way to uh, North Idaho College then the University of Texas San Antonio. You decided to get into coaching. Talk about how that process all played out. Uh, I originally wanted to play overseas, but things didn't work out, and God works in mysterious ways. So uh, I talked to Corey, and, and uh, I was fortunate enough to, that he hired me on staff. So I'm blessed to be here. So what, what, what just didn't work out, didn't get an opportunity? Because that seems to be the key, whether it be, uh, you know, everybody's talking about Cullen Moore now, the former uh, Boise State quarterback with the Cowboys, not getting a chance and people going crazy about that thing. And a lot of times it's just getting an opportunity, isn't it? It is. It is. Uh, it's a lot about who you know. It's not always about uh, your skill set and stuff like that. But like I said, uh, God, God knows best. So – uh, I'm just in a great – I have a great opportunity, and I'm glad to be here. All right, let's talk about uh, coaching. What? Uh, how do you see yourself as a coach? Uh, is it something that you thought about for a while? I mean, because, let's face it, basketball careers always come to an end. You know, you're not going to play until you're 70, although, you know, I might strap them on. Right? But uh, uh, how, how did that process come down? Uh, I just wanted to stay around the game of basketball. Uh, I love playing still to this day, and uh, I guess coaching was just the next step for me. So I love being around the guys. I like – teaching them stuff that I should have did when I was playing and and stuff like that so uh, it's a good experience so let's talk a little bit about your role you're on your bench uh, on the bench you have coach uh, Corey Simmons assistant coach George Swanson both of them are veteran coaches um, you have Amir Shamsuddin who is an assistant coach beside you and we'll talk to him tomorrow what do you bring into the the team when you have four coaches what is your main role uh, my main role is just to give them my past experiences uh, what I went through when I played and when I was here and, and the journey that I went through and just trying to help the guys become better than I was. I, I was a decent player, so I just want them to be better, better than I was. This man is the most uh, modest man I'll ever heard. He was an okay player. He was the only two-time All-American for the NIC Cardinals. That's kind of okay, I would tend to see. Uh, one thing about your, your competition level, both you and Sham, you go out there and not only do you explain to the to the young men what they need to do, you can actually go out there and show them. Yes, yes. That's the, the beauty of coaching. Uh, when you play the game uh, and, and you have somebody like Amir that also played the game, and you can actually – He's a teammate. Exactly. See, a teammate of mine, a great scorer. So when you have two of us like that can actually still play, we can get out there and show them what to do. It, it helps them a lot. So how do you uh, deal with a temperament – of uh, college athletes you have these guys most of them were most likely stars in a high school when you get to the college level everybody is good so how do you tie tie to you know keep the leash on them a little bit without you know holding back their creativity it's basically like starting over uh this is not high school uh this is college now so you have to start over you you bring what you what you what you knew in high school and what you were taught, and then you take it to another level when you once you get to college. So it, it's fun. It's fun. It, it's a great experience. I just enjoy being here. I, I like being around the guys, and they listen to me, surprisingly. So nah, it, it's fun. They know. They know. <laughs> they know. All right, let's talk about some of the off-the-court stuff. Your favorite hobby outside of basketball. Now, you can't say basketball. What's your favorite hobby? Uh, Music. I love music. Uh, whenever I'm just chilling, having a good time with my friends, I'm listening to music most of the time. Now, uh, one of our players uh, uh, that graduated last year, Jordan King, was an accomplished pianist. I didn't know he could play the piano. Is there a musical instrument that you're good at? Uh, at the at my church that I uh, go to, I play the drums. So. I, I guess I'm rhythmically You're a drummer. Good. Yes, sir. Awesome, man. Maybe we'll get some sticks out here. Watch Mike do his oh, thing. No, the no, that, no, no, no. That's no. not me. Yo, that's all right, not me. All right, right, right. Well, he'll stay in the background there. Um, goodness sakes. Um, movies. Do you like different types of movies? I asked uh, George Swanson what kind. What was his last movie that he saw. Can you remember the last movie you saw? Last movie I saw. Action adventure, or you, you know, these 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 questions like you know, if you're going to be a tree, what kind of tree would you be? Who who's your favorite superhero? Are you a are you a Star Wars? Are you a Batman? Are you a Spider Man? Which like, one are you? I like the Green Lantern. The Green Lantern. Yes. Nice. Yes. Nobody usually mentions him, so I like being different. I like the Green Lantern. All right. 
All right, fantastic. I could give you mine, but it'd be it'd been old school. I mean, old school like in really old school. Um, I always like to talk to favorite basketball player. I know. Uh, uh, well, I'll just ask you, and then I'll ask you the second part of that. Your favorite all-time NBA player? Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. That's yeah. without a doubt. And I know you're not a Kobe fan. At all. That at all. And yeah. it's funny watching players go back and forth over Kobe and Michael. Who's the best? Who's the best? No comparison. No comparison. All right. Well, I won't even go any further because this man will just outdo me to the end. I'm coming to Federal Way. Um, you cook? <laughs> no. Oh, so I'm. <laughs> microwave. So I'm not coming to your house for dinner? No, you, uh, my mother. Your uh, mother? All she, right. She can cook. All right, here we are. We're going home. Mom's going to cook his dinner. You bring in Richie over for a special uh, dinner. What's what she, co- what she cooking? Uh, we might get greens, macaroni and cheese. Or I'm a fan of soul food, so that's that's what we do at home. You know, I've never had soul food. No. Uh, I, I, oh, I, man. I, oh, yeah, man. I tell you, I have to go on. Look at this waistline, man. I tell you. Man, there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nothing wrong with that. All right, fantastic. Shout out to anybody back in Federal Way or anywhere around the world on the World Wide Web you want to say hi to? My family, of course, the Hale family, uh, my little brother. Uh, both of them are selling Marquis, and uh, that's it. All right, fantastic. That, my friends, is Michael Hale the third. This has been Meet the Cardinals.